Hey everybody, Dan Schiller here with Magnetism X. Today I'm going to take the time and uh, address one issue where I've I found a lot of people lately uh, when I talk about nutrition, they're kind of clueless actually. So For so long people have been uh, conditioned to just do fast food or frozen pizzas or whatever is the easiest to make. And when it comes to cooking home cooked healthy meals, a lot of times people just really don't know where to begin. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you how I, uh, how I prepare a real simple fast to make meal that's healthy for you. Uh, what it consists of is going to be yellow, yellow zucchini, uh, squash, or I'm sorry, yellow squash, zucchini, uh, red pepper, and mushrooms. Okay, so it's just vegetables, fresh vegetables, and chicken. Okay, you start by washing all your vegetables, which I've already done to kind of speed this up, and uh, and then you go ahead and just cut the stuff up. I'm gonna go ahead cut up my red pepper. You just cut the one end off, and then you can just kind of slice through and take out the the seed part, just like that. Uh, a lot of times, depends on what you're making, a lot of times I'll leave my red peppers pretty, pretty whole. You know, just cut them in half and clean them and then leave it like that. You can do stuffed peppers and stuff like that as well. Uh, of course, this would be a lot easier if I had both my, both my arms working, but uh, we'll make do. I know everybody's probably gasping because I'm cutting towards myself, but uh, I've been doing it a long time and I haven't cut myself yet, knock on wood. Okay, so once you have your uh, seeds out of your pepper, then you can go ahead and uh, I just usually, like I said, I'll do like some big slices. And then we'll go ahead and grab a bowl and we'll set those aside. So I'm just going to take my red pepper, set those in a bowl, then I'll go do the zucchini or the squash. Yeah, the yellow squash. What I like to do is I cut the ends off and just get rid of those. That. And then I just. Uh, Slice them up like in, uh, like say, quarter inch slices. And we'll toss that in a bowl. Now the zucchini, same thing, cut the ends off, get rid of them. Throw those in a bowl. And then the mushrooms. Now depending on how you like your mushrooms, uh, again, you can cut them either in half or even just throw them in their hole if you like. Uh, or dice them. It's all just your preference. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to change much as far as like the cooking time or anything like that. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail with this. A lot of times, if you were watching a real cooking show, they would tell you specifics as far as like you're going to cook your chicken for say 25 minutes at 375 uh, and then after 15 minutes of uh, the, the first 15 minutes, then you would put your vegetables in to, so that they remain a little bit crisper. 
Uh, just for ease, I like to throw everything all in at the same time. I'm not that picky. <laughs> That's the thing with cooking. I mean, you can find, you can go online and get all kinds of recipes, healthy recipes and stuff like that uh, to follow. And uh, it's really just about you know enjoying it. Find foods that you that are healthy, that you enjoy eating, and that's half the battle for me. Like when I snack, my favorite snack is this antioxidant mixed trail mix I get. It has raisins. Uh, uh, peanuts, also I'm drawing a blank on what's in that darn thing. Uh, it's just got a bunch of mixed nuts in there and uh, raisins and uh, cranberries. And that's something that throughout the day if I get hungry I'll nibble on that a little bit. Or fresh grapes or something like that. Uh, I also like to nibble on my, my red peppers. So a lot of times if you have fresh, fresh fruit and vegetables in your house, cut it up, throw it in a Ziploc bag, and if you get hungry, you find yourself wanting to nibble, nibble on something that's healthy for you instead of reaching for a candy bar or something that's bad. So once you get into that habit, it's going to help you all, you know, help you lose your weight a lot quicker. And it's a lot easier to stick to a diet when you're eating healthy like that. Okay, next. I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven. We're going to preheat it to 375. Make sure there's nothing in your oven. And I'm going to take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and put it in a glass cooking pan. Make sure the whole bottom's all covered. Set that right there while the oven preheats. Okay, next I'm going to prepare my chicken. Usually go go to the deli and just get some uh, uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Okay. Uh, usually there's. They, they're pretty good about making sure they get all the little extra fat and stuff off there, but I'll trim it up a little bit more. Uh, if there's any extra tendon or anything on there, I'll just usually cut that off and get rid of it. So just, uh, just give it a good rinse. Now there's different ways you can do it. Uh, a lot of times I'll cut my chicken up into smaller pieces just to speed up the cooking time. Or just a lot of times if I put a little oil in a pan, a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil in a pan, I'll just pan fry it. Uh, so I'll cut it into pieces. Uh, this is kind of a thick chicken breast, so what I'll do is I'll cut this down a little bit just to, to speed up the process. just to ensure that it cooks all the way through and then that way I don't have to uh, leave it in there extra long and dry my vegetables out.
like I said, on a real cooking show, they would tell you to put your vegetables in, you know, and let them bake for probably 15, 20 minutes, uh, and your chicken a little bit longer. Uh, I'm just going to throw it all in the same thing and let it cook at the, for the same amount of time. So what we'll do first is lay our chicken out in the pan. Like so. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it all slid. <laughs> okay, so just lay it out in the pan. Now for seasoning you can in you can do pretty much whatever you want. Stay away from your salts and stuff, obviously. Uh, I like to use garlic powder, pepper, uh, I like uh, rosemary. There's all kinds of different seasonings you can use. You you decide what you like and go with that. Uh, Today I'm going to be using a, a Mrs. Dash's garlic and herb seasoning. There's no sodium added, so it's uh, a little bit healthier for you there. sprinkle some lemon juice on there as well okay so before I put my vegetables in I'm gonna go ahead and season my chicken a little bit over the top of that. No real rhyme or reason, just over that like that. Okay, now I'll sprinkle a little bit more seasoning over the vegetables. Just cover the whole thing. And in a couple minutes, as soon as I have uh, my oven up to temperature, I'm going to go ahead and throw it in. Uh, I'm going to clip it for uh, 25 minutes to a half an hour. Now that's a little bit longer than they say usually. At 375, uh, you can cook a chicken breast, average size chicken breast, for about 20 minutes it calls for. I like to go a little bit longer just to be on the safe side. Uh, so. Like I said, we're going to be at 375. We're going to cook it for 25 minutes to a half an hour. And there you have it. That's as easy as it is. Uh, so I'll go ahead and wait for the oven to preheat, throw it in, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's all cooked. Uh, see you in a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and take out our chicken and see how we did. Uh, 
uh, I went ahead and put it in for an additional 15 minutes because I checked it before and my vegetables were a little still a little firm so when you go ahead you can either set it for 400 degrees and cook it for a half an hour or you can cook it for about 40 minutes to 45 minutes at 375 so just up to you And there we go. I'll check my vegetables. Okay. Uh, okay, the zucchini is still a little bit crunchy, which is the way I like it. Mushrooms are nice and soft. Peppers are nice and soft. We'll go ahead and cut a piece of the chicken and see how that looks. Yep, chicken's perfect. You just want to make sure there's no pink on the inside at all. Uh, if you tend to lean toward the, towards the cautious side, get yourself a, a, a meat thermometer and stick it in and then I uh, check in like a Betty Crocker cookbook or go online and check in, internal temperature for, uh, for cooked meat and they'll give you a listing of all the different meats and stuff like that. It's probably like 375 on the inside or something. But anyway, uh, there you have it. So that just basically showing you how to prepare a fast healthy meal uh, cut up some fresh vegetables you don't have to use this particular uh, these vegetables you can add whatever you want in there you can throw potatoes in there uh, you know uh, either uh, like a russet or a, even a sweet potato now that's going to take longer to cook so you're going to definitely want to put that in the oven ahead of time wrapped in uh, tin foil usually uh, it's uh, about 375 to 400 degrees for about an hour for a baked potato if they're pretty good size. So, uh, but there you have it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll do a couple more different, uh, uh, tape a couple more different cooking shows and just kind of give you an idea of the different recipes I do and uh, try to help you with some quick, simple ideas for mealtime. Thanks and uh, we'll see you again.